really bump me around. You may not hear me. But this is the closest thing that we're going to get to hunting. A lot of guys out there right now are actually catching fish. I've heard reports where guys are catching like, you know, limiting out within the first hour. We went last night. The problem is that the river's still a little bit high. So some of the access points to some of the places that I'm used to going are are overrun by water, inundated by water, so the bars aren't there. And hopefully we can get into some different territory with a little bit more access with the canoe. So all you guys out there, don't fret. There's gonna be a lot of fish coming up the river. As we all know, we do this every year. Fishermen, we do this every year. Thinking it's gonna be a heyday, but you know what? We're always early. We're, it's always too early. We never get there on time. It's always too early. Well, at least I do. I don't know about you guys. Some of the guys out there that I know, they go out there early and yeah, they get limited out. Not this guy. So we're gonna go hunt. That's what we're doing. We're hunting for new grounds for the weekend. Because we don't know when DFO is gonna shut this place down. And that's why I love this sport. Not just for the catching of the fish, but it's, it reminds me of hunting. We're looking, we're seeking, we're gonna scour the mighty Fraser River for some excellent access points. I just got off work and, uh, you know, I gotta get up at five in the morning, so we gotta get there soon. Uh, it is now, 520 so uh, we might get if I'm lucky we'll get a couple hours of fishing in but it's gonna set me up for the weekend I tried one spot we're gonna try another spot today see what the water's like see if the fish are there and uh, yeah that's it that's it Gorgeous night though. Great way to spend the evening after work. It's a bit of a drive, but you know what? When the sock eye are running, you only get one chance at this. And like I said before, you never know, DFO might shut this uh, fishery down, so you gotta take advantage of it. Hopefully people out there aren't gonna be stupid to make it worse. For the guys that work their asses off to get here. Oh look, gear tracks. I noticed that on the way in. To, uh, oh, mosquitoes. Oh. Man, the mosquitoes are bad, eh? Because the water is bad. So the trick to navigating across a river in a current is to keep the bow forward. And if I don't keep the bow forward, the boat's going to drift. 45, 35 degree angle is ideal. Get you across faster, but for this the night crossing, we're gonna do a little shower at 10 15 degrees. Oh yeah, you can do it. <laughs>